and welcome. I hope you don't mind this. I bought this headband today and I just think it's so funny. Anyway, today I'm going to do a tag. This tag comes from Anya. Yeah, this channel, this tag comes from Anya. She does really cool eyeshadow looks and some great Will I Buy It videos and well as some other content. She created this tag called the Colourful Makeup Tag and it looked interesting so I thought I'd do it. So, <clears throat> if you'd like to do this tag, feel free to tag yourself. Um, I think you should do it. And go and check out Anya's original video. I'll link it down below. If you don't have a channel, feel free to leave your answers down below. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. And starting with the questions. So, we've got, when and why did you start using colour? Um... I think someone left me alone with my makeup collection and I just decided fuck this I want to see what colors I can put on my eyes you know what? I'll put up like one of my original looks <laughs> I did it took me a long time to like realize how to do stuff and I mean I'm not I'm still I, mean, I, I, could, I could improve I think <laughs> but I don't know I just I realized what I liked about makeup was the colorful looks and going a bit out there rather than all the bronze neutrally looks but I still love them too so I'm like, I don't know. I love playing with makeup. I love the creativity of it. And to me, it's like my artistic outlet. What is your favorite color to wear? Um, I love telling Brooke that it's green. <laughs> but I don't know. I really like a good duo chrome. Um, I'm really into these triple multicolor pigments that, are coming, that I've been playing with lately. I think blue and green are usually my go-to colors that I go to. But, it's easy. What is your go-to colourful combination? For a long time I was doing blue and orange and I like blue and yellow and I like purple and yellow and I like, I don't know, I like a lot of them. <laughs> I sort of, for me, I'm not the most creative so I have a colour wheel that lives in my collection and I sort of base looks around this and then from that it will tell me what works together and what doesn't and then I make up a look based on that. So yeah, so I sort of do whatever, whatever mood strikes me really. I choose one color and then I look at that thing and then I choose like contrasting or complementary color. So yeah. What are your favorite influences to follow that inspire you color wise? Uh, well, I love watching Annette's Makeup Corner, Angelica Nyquist, uh, Kelly Gooch, um, like Jeffrey Star, Emma Mitchell, a lot of Instagram peeps. Who's our oh, Gandalf sandwich? She is like the ultimate Instagram person. You need to go check her out. Her eye looks, they're amazing. Um, so yeah, they all inspire me to do different kind of looks and I sort of just absorb the information I get from watching them and then try and reapply it to my stuff that I do or I don't and I just enjoy watching them do stuff. So you know, I don't know. What do your family and friends think of your colorful makeup style? Um, my sister is a makeup artist and she kind of thinks it's a bit too much sometimes. Uh, my boyfriend likes it. He doesn't really mind. And yeah, I don't think anyone really minds. A lot of my friends, like a lot of people at work will be like, wow, Prue, you can really pull off a lot of colors. But I think anyone could do this. I think anyone can wear colors on their eyes and look great. I think, you know, it is a subjective. Yeah, it just makeup is meant to be fun. Is there a color that you're looking for a perfect formula with? Neons, neons. I want neons. I want all the neons. I want them now. <laughs> I want neon pink. I want like a really vibrant yellow. I want a really vibrant blue. I kind of feel like pastel goth has it. And yeah, I feel like neons. I really want some neon colors. Would you rather wear neutral lip and colourful eyeshadow or colourful lips and neutral eyeshadow for the rest of your life? Colourful eyeshadow and neutral lip. Um, I don't really mind about lip colours. I'm not the best at choosing them. So if I was doing neutral looks, <laughs> neutral lips, that makes my life easier. Just be one shade. And then I could do whatever I want on my eyes. What is your opinion on glitter? Love it or hate it? I love looking at it. I have mixed feelings about using it can really add some pizzazz to a look and make it look amazing. So 
I think it's worth playing with. What is your go to colourful eyeshadow palette at the moment? Ooh. That's really hard. I don't think I have one. Like, I like. I mean, it, like, if I'm going to recommend one to you, it's going to be Huda Beauty's Electric Obsessions. This has some really nice vibrant colours in it. And they're all stellar. Um, but I don't think I have like one eyeshadow palette that's ever like fully ticked all the boxes in colourful looks. I'm still searching for it. So, you know, I don't know. I'm trying to think. Yeah. I do like the Kat Von D anniversary, 10 year anniversary palette. This has got some quite nice looks, colours in it that are fun to play with. And she does do some, like, she has a really beautiful formula to play with. So, you know, that's up there. This is just me pulling out all my cards now. Um, I did like the Jeffree Star one. Oh, I should try this pink again, hey. And this is here's original Beauty Killer. And Annette did an amazing job on the 10 looks. One palette with the Alien palette. So I kind of want that palette now, but I don't need it. Yeah, my English shadows are probably some of my favourite. And if I only had to go to one palette, it would be these. I would just use all these. All the time. They're really nice. And they're all reliable colours. They all work really beautifully and they're pretty true to the pan. So I think that's definitely up there. These are the other ones I've got. So... They're definitely nice. Um, yeah, I think those are my favourites. Those are some of my favourites from my collection. But a lot of a lot of palettes have like one standout shade, so it's really hard. And that's the tag. I finished it. I completed it. I hope you enjoyed. I hope if you liked it, stick around, leave me a comment, say hello, uh, subscribe, join. I don't know. Join my little YouTube world. Let me know what you think of my lovely headband. <laughs> and I will see you soon. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Mwah.